Are you wondering how to negotiate your salary for a new job? Do you need some salary negotiation techniques that will help you get your ideal compensation? If so, stay tuned because in this video, I'm going to share with you some tips that will help you get the compensation you deserve. And if you watch until the end, I have a special bonus just for you. If we've never met before, I'm Heather Austin from ProfessorAustin.com and The Career Club on Facebook. And on this channel, I share simple solutions to help you build a business or launch a career you love. So if you're new here, consider subscribing and hitting that bell notification down below so you don't miss a thing. And real quick, comment down below with what your biggest questions are when it comes to negotiating a salary. Now, before we jump into the proven methods for negotiating a salary you deserve, remember that salary negotiation won't take place until after you've received the job offer. This is not something you wanna talk about on a first or maybe even second interview. This is something you will discuss after that job offer comes in. You wanna take your time and be patient with this process. Tip number one, know your number. Before you enter any salary negotiations, you wanna make sure that you have a number in mind that you wanna walk away with. This is a number between your minimum amount, the amount that you will take at the very bottom of the scale, and your ideal amount, the amount that you will be so ecstatic about if you receive. To help you refine this number, do your research. Start with resources like Glassdoor, Indeed, or even the Bureau of Labor Statistics. You can normally search for job postings by title and by location. Also, don't be afraid to ask others that are in similar positions what their compensation package looks like. You'll learn a lot from doing this. When the time comes, ask for an exact number. It's been proven that those that ask for an exact number over a range actually get closer to their desired amount. Tip number two, list your worth. Jot down some of your most important career accomplishments. Write down specific problems you've solved in your previous positions that show ways you've cut costs, increased productivity, saved either your boss or colleagues time, improved processes, or even enhanced the quality of something. Provide examples with impact and be able to make a direct correlation between the new position and your work experiences and accomplishments. Making this list will give you a greater sense of confidence and determination when you start salary negotiations. Tip number three, let them make the offer first. This gives you a better starting point and more leverage when asking for your ideal salary. If you tell them how much you're willing to accept before they make the offer, you're risking the chance of overpricing or undervaluing yourself. Now there's a famous headhunter from the 80s named Noel Smith Wunkel and he has a proven method for how to answer questions that relate to salary before you've been given a job offer. For example, if you're asked what your salary expectations are, respond with, I am much more interested in doing, list the type of work here at, list the name of the company, than I am in the size of the initial offer. He goes even further and says, if they ask again what you would like to receive, there's another response. You can say something like, I will accept any reasonable offer. And if they continue to persist, which really only about 30% of them will, you can answer with, you are in a much better position to know how much I am worth to you than I am. Holding out until they've made the first offer sets you up to receive a higher salary. Tip number four, have courage. Some people fear asking for a higher salary or even negotiating their salary because they feel like it's too presumptuous or that it will ruin their chances of getting the job. This is not the case. Most hiring managers, recruiters, and employers actually expect you to negotiate your salary. You won't get what you want if you don't ask for it. And this is especially true for women. Studies have revealed that women are less likely to negotiate their salaries than men. So all of my lady friends out there, work up the courage to negotiate your salary. You won't get what you don't ask for. Tip number five, 
get creative. If the initial offer comes in that you're not 100% satisfied with, think outside of the box as far as other compensation. You could always ask for more vacation time. Maybe you want a more flexible schedule maybe bonuses or even clothing allowances. Most organizations know that these types of things are enticing to candidates. So they will be open to making them part of your compensation package. Tip number six, role play. One of the best things you can do before you enter salary negotiations is to role play with a friend or a colleague. Practice your response to the initial job offer if it's not what you want. Also, practice your response if the offer is more than what you want. And as you consider your response, remember the importance of pausing or even just silence. In a famous book called Negotiating Your Salary, How to Make $1,000 a Minute by Jack Chapman, he actually mentions something called the flinch. It's actually been proven that candidates that pause right after they've received their initial offer actually receive a higher compensation. The reason why is because it puts more pressure on the employer and it gives you some time to think. Now to make sure you're in the right mindset during your job search, make sure you download your free copy of the ultimate guide to surviving the job search. It's a quick step-by-step -step system that will help you overcome the frustration of the job search. I'll go ahead and link it up below. Also, if you wanna build a business or launch a career you love, be sure to subscribe. And if you know someone that might benefit from this video, please feel free to share it with them. And don't forget to hit the like button below and I will see you guys next time.